Aaron, when you hit the 50th one, you said, I, I couldn't care less because it wasn't a loss. What will you remember about this one in particular? Uh, Big G's Grand Slam to win it. You know, it's, uh, this one's a little better than the loss in Anaheim, that's for sure. But, um, you know, just an all-around, like, you know, all-around great, you know, team game. Like, I just look back at those last, you know, four at-bats, you know, leading up to Giancarlo. You know, Rizzo right behind me, great swing, you know, double to get get in scoring position, and then Glaber right behind him, great at-bat walk. You know, Donaldson, you know, just fighting off a tough pitch just to get Big G up there with a chance to win it, and it's, you know, that's what this team's made of. You know, kind of slow to start, you know, especially against a good rookie pitcher, but, you know, guys worked hard till the very end, so I was... Like I said, I'll remember those at bats and that Giancarlo Grand Slam walk off. Tyler, when you're done, if you could pass it to Chris in front of you. Aaron, uh, Giancarlo is the only other player in the majors right now who's hit 59 home runs, let alone 60. It, it, how does how has it helped you, or how has it impacted you, to have literally the only other major leaguer who's come this close uh, as your teammate? Uh, how has he helped you? How has it impacted you? Well, I, I think. Getting a chance to get to know Big G and get a chance to pick his brain over the years has, you know, just helped me mature as a player, um, you know, mature as a person as well. A guy that's, you know, he's been in the league since he was, I think, 19, 20 years old. You know, he's seen it all. He's been through it all. He's been through the MVP race, won an MVP, um, been through the seasons of hitting 30, 40, 50, 59 homers, um, been pitched around. You know, he, he's, he's seen it all. So getting a chance to have him in the lineup with me, be, work with him every single day, pick his brain about approaches. How do you face these guys? How do you, what do you do against these guys? All it's, all it's done is just, you know, I've tried to soak in everything he's he's told me and, you know, use it as best as I can. So um, no, he's he's helped me grow as a player, you know, leaps and bounds these past couple of years. Chris, <clears throat> center. We, we talked to you in Milwaukee about Giancarlo struggling lately, but what could it mean for you guys as a team if he gets going and finds his swing? Well, we, we saw it, you know, the past couple of years in the playoffs. You know, we go back to 2020, you know, what he did in the, in the postseason, man, the guy, you couldn't get him out. And then, you know, the one game wild card we had uh, in Fenway the year before, you know, it could have been, if we were playing at home, that's three homers that he hits. Uh, you know, he's, he's one of the biggest pieces of our offense, if not the biggest, you know, and when he gets hot, you know, there's no telling what he's going to do on a nightly basis. So, um, you know, even tonight, you know, he had a couple of rough at-bats to begin with. But the guy, you know, he didn't care. He was getting booed. It doesn't matter. He, that just shows you how mentally tough he is to go up there in a big spot, you know, after already, you know, a couple of strikeouts, groundouts, whatever, you know, to show, go, show up, put on a good at-bat and win us the game, you know. So, yeah, he's a leader in that clubhouse. And, you know, we're, you know, we ride and die with everybody, you know. It doesn't matter what you do. You know, he continues to show up, put in the work, and, you know, we got a couple weeks left to tune it up and you know get ready for the postseason. Eric and Joel to the right. Aaron, what or who convinced you to take the curtain call? The the, the whole team, and then uh, Booney, I think. Yeah, I, I really didn't want to do it, you know. Especially, you know, we're losing. It's a solo shot. You know, I, you know, I was more focused on you know getting ready to watch Rizzo's at bat and see what he does, but. Um, you know, I kind of joked around with, with Matt Carpenter earlier in the year. I think he had two homers in a game or something like that, and he got a curtain call. I was like, man, I've been here for six years. I've only got one curtain call, you know? So I guess it takes I guess it takes hitting 60 to get another one. But, um, no, nah, it's, you know, I, a lot of the stuff I do, man, it's it's for those fans. You know, the fans that show up on a nightly basis. If we're winning, not winning, you know, grinding out with us all the way to the end, you know, a lot of fans could have left and, you know, packed it in tonight. But, you know, they stayed to stayed there and hung out with us so you know they they deserve to have that that moment and you know that's what it's one of the reasons why i do it <clears throat> okay uh dom can you grab it press and grab it yeah there you go take a couple more yeah aaron, aaron i was wondering if you've seen much video of roger maris or study or learned much about him and if there's anything that you've seen that maybe kind of jumps out at you that impresses you uh and one thing i guess i kind of ironically they had to push him out of the dugout for a curtain call when he had his 61st also i'm just wondering if the, anything you've seen from maybe watching video of him that kind of you admire that jumps out at you you know just what i've seen from you know old videos old videos of games uh you know the guy 
was a was a great teammate. He never made it about himself. You know, like you said, I, I look back, I know exactly the moment you're talking about kind of the team pushing him out there for the curtain call. That just shows you what type of leader and what type of player he was. You know, just hit his 61st, broke a big record and at Yankee Stadium. I don't know how, I think there was maybe 20,000 people there and he, you know, went out there and gave a little curtain call. It just shows you that he's, he's about the team and, you know, was always focused on that. So, you know, I don't, I don't know too much, but I'll definitely do a little bit more research on him, that's for sure. Take these last two on the right, back right. In the situation you were in, the pitcher doesn't want to walk you, three ball count. Were you confident at that point you were going to get something to hit? You never know, you know, because I look back at all my at bats and I was, you know, chasing a lot of pitchers out of the zone all night. Um, but that's where these past couple of weeks you really got to lock it in. You might only get one pitch a hit or one pitch to, you know, get on base. So, you know, in that situation, I'm just, I kind of cleared all those other at bats where I was chasing stuff out of the zone and just said, hey, you know, look for something you can drive to, you know, kind of get a rally going. And, you know, luckily I got, you know, a little sinker over the middle and tried to put a good swing on it. And, um, but you, you got to stay locked in at all those moments. You never know. He, he could have walked me, and that would have been fine too. You know, because I know Rizzo behind me get the job done. But you, you just got to stay mentally locked in on every at bat. Take a last one, Christy. What was your first curtain call for? Um, against the Royals, the um, I think the rookie home run record, I believe. And what was your feeling when you hit number sixty? What was your initial reaction? <laughs> kind of like, damn, I know I wish I would have done that with the bases loaded, you know, a little earlier in the game. You know, I was a little, I was a little upset at myself, uh, you know, just, you know, especially early in the game, I had a couple situations to <clears throat> either get the inning going, do something to get started, and then that situation where, you know, we're up by one, bases loaded, you know, one out, and then, you know, striking out. So I was kind of kicking myself while I was running around the bases like, man, you idiot, you should have done this a little earlier. But, uh, you know, the team picked it up and we were able to pull that one out.